Hey you guys, Anthony here from Gamer Tactics, and today is March 22nd, and Jagex went ahead and released the bonus behind the scenes today, I believe it was today, about the, uh, RuneScape 3, as it pains me to talk about. I mean, okay, so this is going to be my opinion from this point on. Everybody is entitled to their own, but this is mine. So if you don't want to hear what I have to say, you can leave now. If you don't mind hearing what I have to say, you can stay. And then tell me whether or not you agree or disagree in the bottom, in those little comment sections. So, I feel at this point Jagex is just trying to whip a dead horse here. I mean, after EEOC came out, like, it wasn't unobvious to anybody that the game was dying way before that. After, any time after, say, probably mid-2008 when the horrible, horrible update started coming out, and Jagex got on their little horse and said, we're gonna do something stupid here every day. Oh, hello, and... It was okay, like, 2007 servers, like I'm on right now. These are how the game should be. When it went on and they did the EOC and all that other stuff, I understand that there's a few of you who enjoy it, and there's a few of you who don't. It's kind of me right there. I don't really enjoy the EOC because it killed scale, uh, staking, it oversimplified skilling, and it killed PvP. Like... Have you tried having a fight in the wilderness with those new abilities? It's long, drawn out, boring. There's none of that thrill of a fast key, fast KO, nothing. But the, the point is, they should probably focus more on the economy that's thriving and less, that's thriving more than the economy in EOC in less than a month already and which is the 2007 servers we have done a lot to get these servers and we need to keep them with the release of um, the RuneScape 3 this summer I just I don't know what to expect because they say you're gonna just take all of the avatar and they're gonna put it over which means you know EOC scape is gonna become RuneScape 3, which is going to be in HTML5, and all the graphics are going to be amazing, and the render distance is going to be much better, and the draw distance is going to be crazy. Okay. That does not make a good game. Back when I was in middle school, and I was probably playing uh, 07 Scape very, very often. Well, not like 07 Scape, but I mean the old original RuneScape back then. That was not the best graphics in the world. You know, I did enjoy the HD graphics when they first came out, although at the time my computer could barely handle it. But there's a charm that the older graphics have that you just can't get rid of. But it's not just that. The older servers, they have that difficulty to them. The older game had that difficulty to it that you just can't get rid of. And it made the game good. And it's also competitive and all this other stuff. And like, when you get to the point where everything isn't, isn't worth doing anymore, like in EOC, like since everything is so much more oversimplified, you're going to lose people. Because nobody's gonna want to do it, and they're trying. They're saying they want to bring everybody back and let everybody control the updates that's gonna happen. But you're not going to get to control the updates. The only reason we get to control the updates in 2007 is because we complained, whined, and moaned for years about it. Because they started, they killed the game that was good. These graphics aren't top notch, but the gameplay, the gameplay is what makes it. The gameplay is amazing. It's like Minecraft. Minecraft. Looks terrible. You know, there's HD texture packs, which personally I do use because 
I just like I don't like looking at the same thing over and over again half the time. At least when I'm playing Minecraft. But that game there is just an amazing game. There's so much stuff you can do. It's it's like RuneScape in that sense. There's so much you can do on RuneScape. And they're trying to make it more, which is I guess an, a good and an ambitious idea that you can have more to do. But when you're trying to do when you do it, try not to get rid of or hurt what's already working for you. And they made that mistake, and they killed the game once before, and they somehow managed to bring it back to life. And I don't understand. They brought it back to life just before EOC, after the free trade and all this stuff, like not too long before EOC, if you really think about it. And it's just... <sighs> It makes me want to facepalm. I really don't know how to say it. They're killing it again. They killed it again with EOC after just bringing it back to life. RuneScape has been dead for so long. At least RuneScape, the good RuneScape, the real RuneScape as we know it, has been dead for so long. It may as well be a vampire because it's come back so many times. And to me, EOC was that metaphorical stake through the heart. That last blow that's never going to give you back the game you wanted. They're never going to give you back the game that was good. This game is moving on and leaving the people who really enjoyed it in the past. People say we need to move forward and accept the fact that it's changed. But we could accept the fact that it's changed if we were to change it for the better, not for the worse. All I'm really trying to say is, I don't think it's necessary for them to redo it. I think they shouldn't work on RuneScape 3. They should focus, right now, on giving the real players, the good players, what they want in 2007 servers. Because that's where all their money is going to be coming from in the future. Not their little microtransactions. Mm -hmm. Not anything else. They might have some EOC scape, or even those stupid little games that they have on Fun Orb. But a majority of the people who are playing now, a majority of their subscribers, they play both games. They play maybe two hours of EOC and like 20 hours of Ru RuneScape 2007 in the course of two days. That's not good to focus on something that you're getting less when something else you're focusing on less is getting more. You've got your priorities in the wrong spot, Jagex. You give us a little bit of a team, and they gave us the updates we want so far, like this. Toggle roof. And I can turn my roofs off, which makes it so much easier. I don't realize why I didn't now. The run carries over. Tab reply. Their help, they're giving it to us, but th those aren't all the changes that we can eventually want. I mean, there's some stuff in the, f in the future game, or the anywhere past 2007, that they've done correctly, that maybe they could implement into the game, but not to Grand Exchange and not uh, God Wars Dungeon, because Grand Exchange will crash prices with flippers and make prices way too stable. It won't be like it used to be, and then the economy will just fall into that rut again, just like it did before. And as for God Wars Dungeon, overpowered weapons are overpowered. You don't want your game play. You don't want your enjoyment of the game to be based on who's got the most gold in the game and who spends the most time in the game getting that gold because to be able to afford the biggest, strongest weapons and instantly kill you almost with a special hit. It's not the way it's supposed to really be. The way Rune's, uh, 07 Scape is now is the way it mainly should be. Aside from a few tweaks, maybe a little graphical updates, bot updates, get rid of those, because those things are annoying as all hell. And that's really all I have to say. Um, 
you know, if you want to give me your opinion in the bottom, and I'll, I will personally reply. Drew might reply too, because I don't know what his opinion is on it yet, because I haven't really talked to him about it yet. But this is my opinion, and I'm willing to hear what you guys have to say. So let's do this. Tell me in the little comments down below. Leave a comment. Do it. It feels good. It really does. It feels really good.